that means uh, we will discuss uh, very fast to the the project structures and also the the migration script uh, liquid based migration script so if i if i go to the the project structure how it is look like so it is look like we the professional design because it is the spring boot application i create the spring boot with with the spring boot initializer those are using IntelliJ in the ultimate versions they can directly create the spring boot application with the IntelliJ but in the case i am using the 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 community version so i need to be create the spring boot ap application with the spring initializer and then the spring initializer uh, you can inject the, all the dependency that you need or initially dependency that we have in home.xml file after the creating the, uh, the 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 spring boot initializer spring boot application you see there is a group id artifact id and then release version of the which is spring boot api who spring, spring boot versions you are using and then your project definition and the versions group id artifact already but those are just just those are new into the into the into the spring boot application generation with the spring initializer just follow the google it and get really quick understanding so that means we we because we are using the open api ui so we inject the dependency manually because in the in the spring initializer uh, initializer you cannot have this uh, a, 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 the dependency injections like if i go to the spring initializer spring uh, spring uh, initialize initializer you see the spring initializer project so uh, you can go to the spring initializer projects and then out of these projects you can create the all the depend all the dependency artifactory and so on and so forth it's it's really very simple very you can select the java version which version we are using java 8 and you can package it like which project you are which building tools you are using we are using maven tools and then you can select the which dependency you need to to filter or to search so you can you can depending as we we have a jpa dependency that's true you can inject it and also we need a, a post a sql dependency driver driver jdbc driver because we are using the postgis database and also we use the rest maybe rest api document documents rest apis uh, repositories we are using also and for the for the we can we use also actuator actuator for the the real uh, live code ac uh, actuator is such a real life the uh, live uh, live live real life application running and also uh, and also no so it is only for using for the health and matrices and all the information and that's we need that's we need to be checked is it the application is running that's why the actuator is really important and we have a devops devops means uh, devops uh, Dev, DevOps to uh, uh, Dev, Dev, uh, uh, DevOps, uh, Dev, Dev tools. It means it's a live, live, uh, live, live coding. Uh, automatically compile the source code, and then you see what's happening, what's wrong, and then you can also use this tool. This is a good tools for the, uh, for the, for the, for for the live coding, live applications. So we use also Lamba, Lambook uh, for the, our project. So you all depend on all this project, create all the uh, create the all the uh, dependency and create the project after the creating the project and just unzip it and then after the creating the unzipped project and import the projects into the unit respective IDE. Doesn't matter at least IDE or or you can also use the uh, IntelliJ IDE. I found IntelliJ IDE is a good tools for for implementing the the web application or any rest uh, microservice based application so after the importing the application if you look for the pom.xpolar it has a, the open api ui it has actuator it has jpa it has a rest it has a web and then it has a devops tools and it has a post gives a sql driver and this is lumbar projects and so on and so forth and the testing the spring boot testing and liquid ways you see the the spring boot uh, liquid ways Dependency that's they had to be uh, manually to inject its liquid based dependency. Just Google it and get it. And then after that, you have some maybe I need some Google uh, 
full JSON transformations from the Java object to the JSON and the JSON to the Java object. That's why I need it. And then finally, uh, the building tools like Maven plugin, Spring Boot Maven plugin. So it may be this is the really really good uh, good uh, good project structure. Spring Boot just is make really our life really easier. And then uh, the pom.xml file, then uh, we have a pom.xml file, then we need to be uh, structured it like. So it has any, it is it's coming with the uh, uh, basic application that uh, it's coming the uh, the main class methods. You see the very straightforward Spring Boot applications. You can run the application directly from here because we are using here the, the Docker and Kubernetes. We, we, we don't need to run it. But you, if you want, you can run also the directly the the main uh, main main class method to run the Spring Boot application. So that means you import the applications. It has all the dependency and uh, the pom.xml file and proper structure. It has a resource directory and then it has the uh, main class method uh, directory. And then after that, this directory, this is the root directory. That because uh, you know the Spring Boot is a is a dependency, a dependency mani uh, mani management. So inversion of control. That means you have automatically all the all the bean generation behind the scene under these packets, under these projects. So it has a root uh, root package. You see the root package dot dot uh, com dot ub subgroup or user registration, and under this packet uh, package, there's all the sub packages is there. So sub modules, I can say sub packages there. So uh, it's like the like basic structure. So we have a application main methods. It's a pom product element part. It has a resource directory and the standard uh, standard uh, Maven project structure. So it's a test directory. So we can really professionally structure it the projects and then you can quickly start the the Spring Boot uh, application developments. So that means. <clears throat> Uh, that means we we have a project structure. You can run the application now, but but we we continue the developments. So if I go to the developments, so uh, we have like this. We have a models. Uh, this is the models. This that all the uh, ORM definitions. You, I, if I go to the model part, we have a some models. So we have some user registration. That means the one we try what we try to do here. The one you, we try to register the online user registration. Uh, forms uh, or, or, or REST APIs. Uh, one user register fast to register one user. It has a multiple user roles. So you see, and also we try to divide the uh, information like so. It has the user role, user registration. It has all informations like it has the address, ID. It's a primary. It has a user registration, first name, middle name, last name, full names. And also it has a column definition that is exactly the same column uh, leveling information with our pump with our 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 liquid base uh, database uh, change log scripts so that's i will i will discuss a little bit later this the liquid base case part so i oh, just i discuss the model parts uh, here so it's the all the annotations that like lumbar annotation that's we already use it has a table entity it has a table names and it's exactly the user registration tables we implement the we implement the the auditing features from the from the spring boot this is automatically oh, when the record is created and it's created at and updated at this is the like, like the, the default object from the spring boot so we use it the spring boot object to, uh, to auditing our, our 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 entries our records so you see that all the information is properly handled it has a username password mails phone number mobiles and the user id and then it's important part uh, we we don't like to make the tables like 100 columns uh, and that's what we don't like to so we divide uh, and the models uh, the the entities like to to user registration profile entities this one to one related so it has own tables informations and link to the uh, link to the link to the user registration tables. Uh, that's this is that the exactly same definition. It has a two tables at its own table definition is containing the all the all the document information. Maybe the the birth certificate, the cities, countries, and then so on and so forth. 
you can also additionally birth certificate or passport numbers and then and so on so forth you can also add that 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 in that level of information even and profiles you can also add the the, uh, the user registration detailed information also i will show you this little bit so you see that this is the one-to-one -one related maps you see one-to-one -one maps unit directionals so it has a foreign key related and join columns with the foreign key that the key name is here exactly this is the key name that we need to be mapped with the with the with our script the liquid base script so that's the definition user registration definition it has one to one to one related user registration profiles the addition information and then you see the uh, many to one related related uh, user role definition so each user has a many one to many role user that means uh, many roles so that means if you register you need to register first the user and then after the registration process is done then you need you can define and the user roles for each of the uh, registered user so if i go to the registered user you see it has the own tables own related information it has a sequence generation that i will show you later how how can you define the your own sequences and then create the sequences from the database level from the migration script and then call the sequences into the your, your your primary key so it's it's really that's i said it is a professionally designed uh, the microservice application so not the not the hello world applications without any primary key auto generated but it's it is really professional we can define the all the all the sequences in the into the script language see that that all the sequences created it's automatically create the sequences when and liquid base will create the sequences when you inject the tables the sequences act one by one is coming calling because that's that's i did, did here so we can you can you can make make it a complex sequences that you primary key generations and then you can generate uh, this key one by one is when i starting the data into the database level that i will show you later how it is handled so that means one user has one to many roles that's we define one to many and it's cascade type alls and patch type lazy and then map by user registration with the registration object if i wrote it is a role object you see that it has a name it is an id it's a with the without sequence definitions it has a reference id the name type date and then when it's created and last modified and it has a many to one related this is bidirectional uh, linking between the user roles and user registrations so you see that's very straightforward so we have a additional column additional tables to for profiling because we just use this information user registration profiles information it has a but uh, uh, but date and the city uh, city and postal code all additional informations and then see the one-to-one -one related with the with the with the user 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 registrations objects so and user user role de de details object is containing the all the document information maybe the passport number national id the image of the picture of the national id or national bad tax documents or birth certificate documents and also the health certificate documents or other certificate documents is linked and it is linked to the many to one one user has a many maybe many passports or many documents or health certificates and within it this is a really one to uh, many to one related uh, uh, many to one related one register has many 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 documents need to be attached this you can see the the many to one unit national linking between the user registration so it has a properly join columns and it has a columns and the name of the join column attribute the properties and name of the join column names you see this is the user URD already uh, user ID and then so on so forth so you see the pictures how it is the model is handles so that means we need to be uh, discussed uh, how based on the based on the our uh, uh, based on the, the our model definition what we have at the moment that the requirements and we and then we will define the the the, the scripts the define the uh, the liquid waste scripts so that's let's let's continue the to to continue the liquid waste script part